a canal with no boats yet. Well, it's only a very short journey for me today, just under eight miles, to come to the 14 Locks Canal Centre. Right, for those of you that are not familiar with the area, that's Great Britain. If I zoom in there, we have Cardiff, and here we have Newport, and here we have Crumlin and the canal that used to be. And this little red bit here, that is where the 14 locks are. Well, there's a little sketch of the section, 14 lock section. I started off at lock 21, walked down to the keeper's cottage there. And the distance from the top lock to the bottom lock is about a thousand metres or just over 0.6 of a mile. And in that distance it drops 51 metres or 167 feet. Thank you. I'm in the uh, reception centre and this is the, the counter. Beautiful. Well, I'm standing on the canal bank just before the topmost lock. Yeah. And it's lock number 21 and very, very deep. And then it goes out into a basin over here. And underneath locks uh, bridge number six. And it opens into this basin. Now the flight of locks is called a word that is spelt C-E-F-N, and I've just discovered from a local that it's Kevin. So we're the Kevin Flight of Locks. And there's a sign there telling us that it's Potter Street Lock, number four, or four miles. And the MCC stands for Monmouthshire Canal Company. And from the basin through Lock 20, which again is an extremely deep lock. As you can see, the height of that ladder. And then from lock 20, we go into lock 19, there, and they're a little bit similar to scratch locks, they're not staircase locks, there's this little chamber in between. And once again, it's a very, very deep lock. It passes through into what was a little bit of a base, and I suppose for passing boats. Now, it is a very pretty area around here. Nice walks. And the basins weren't just for passing boats, they were part of the water management system. The main purpose of the canal was to transport coal and pig iron from up in the mountains and the valleys down to Newport and the docks. I'm not sure whether you can get to appreciate the drop involved here, but it's a long way down. Well, I was looking back towards lock 17 and the four locks that you've just seen there were renovated or restored in 2010. But from there, there's not a lot of restoration work done yet. On the way down, it's all voluntary. But from up there, there was another lock here which has not been restored at all yet. But we'll continue. We'll continue the walk down, bearing in mind that I've got to walk back up it. When you look at the 
task of renovating this lot. It's immense. And this is the lock keeper's cottage, built in 1792. And here, sorry, so in this outbuilding was the toilet and apparently it was one of the first toilets to have running water. And the last toll was collected on the 27th of December 1935 from a boat or some boats carrying furniture. This path that I just walked down is part of the Sahawi Valley Walk, which is the valley that I live in. And from here, the canal carries on underneath the motorway, which wasn't there when they uh, built the canal, obviously, and on down to Newport, and up this way to Crumlin. It truly is a lovely place to walk. Well, a lot of people do. Well, I've driven past this place many, many times. But I've never actually ever stopped here before. And it is very, very nice indeed. And unfortunately, like another big park nearby, or both Park, it's suffering from blue algae. Very dangerous. Now, just for fun, I'll take you to the place where this canal went to, Crumlin, and uh, there's, it used to be an enormous steel bridge there. I'll try and find a photograph of it. I'm just approaching Crumlin now, where the canal came to, and uh, I've taken a route that followed the uh, as near as I could to. Uh, where I think the canal must have gone and it's about eight miles but from up there across this valley was the bridge that I was telling you about and I'll try and find a photograph of it enormous but because it was steel and corroding they knocked it down but it was a big viaduct and it carried trains. And left over from the days of heavy industry in the valleys, the remains of an old works. Terrible shame. It was a colliery which I believe was known as the navigation. But now I have to go and do some shopping because on Saturday my wife Mandy is coming home from her travels in Scotland and uh, I've got to get the ingredients for a roast Sunday dinner. I'm off to Sainsbury's.